When we started at Sacred Heart, I'm sure we dreamt of today, just not this today. This isn't the May we thought we'd have. No one thought we'd end up here. At least, not like this. But then, we are here. We made it to graduation. Commencement isn't only about moving your tassel. It's about moving on, and all of the tears and celebration that go with it. It's about moving forward, taking the next step towards changing the world. Even though we're not all together, we're all in this together. Now's the time to celebrate our achievements and lift each other. Call your fellow pioneers and remember to hold on to the good times. Because these moments, these people, this place will always be our home. And don't worry, we will celebrate together. The when doesn't matter because we are SHU. Today, tomorrow, and for the rest of our lives. Congratulations, class of 2020. We, we did, did it. it. Remember, this is always your home, away from home. And please come back and Bonu Futuna. Good luck. Good luck. Congratulations. <laughs>
And I went this year and I looked for, for a prayer for a virtual conferral of degrees and I couldn't find any. I looked for a prayer for a uh, conferral of degrees during a time of pandemic. And I couldn't find any. So this is a very different kind of a prayer. And even though I, I jotted a few things down, I like this prayer really to come from my heart because I think it is a very special prayer because you're a very special group of graduates uh, as you receive these degrees today. And I'd like to invite you in your mind's eye to go into the Chapel of the Holy Spirit at the very center of our campus. And just picture in your mind's eye that beautiful mosaic of Jesus pointing to his heart. And in some way, uh, when you first walk on, onto our campus, you were touched in some way in your heart, whatever that meant for you. In some way, during, these, during this time at Sacred Heart University, we have formed a bond with one another that cannot be broken. And so I'd like to invite you into this virtual conferral of degrees, into this virtual prayer that we're praying through technology. And I'd like to invite you into your heart, and I'd like to bring my heart into this prayer. And so my prayer for each of you is that God who has begun this good work in you <clears throat> will bring it to completion and that God will give you the grace to use the talents and all that you have learned here at Sacred Heart University for the rest of your life. And I pray that the God who brought you to Sacred Heart University will fill you this day with gratitude. Gratitude for your family, for your friends, your parents, your guardians, your spouses, your partners, and our wonderful faculty, and all of those who have walked with you on this journey, uh, on this journey as you have pursued, as you as you have pursued your degree. I pray also that you will be blessed with the grace always to make wise choices. Life is really a series of choices, and so much of our life is determined by the choices that we make. And I pray that you will make choices that reflect the depth of your commitment and all that you have learned here at this university. I pray also that you'll be filled with a sense of discomfort with easy answers or half-truths and have the grace to live more deeply, to go beyond the surface and to live deeply. I pray also that you will be blessed with unease whenever you experience injustice, oppression, or exploitation, so that you will become instruments of working for peace and justice, values which are so important to the mission of this university. I pray also that you will be blessed with tears. Don't forget how to cry, to cry for those who suffer, who are alienated, those who are living on the margins, those who have no one else to care for them, that you have the grace always to cry for them, and not just to cry, but to be there for others, especially those who are most in need. I pray also that you'll be blessed with foolishness. Foolishness to think that you can make a huge difference in our world and that you be bold enough to take those risks and to make those choices when others will tell you that it's not possible. And finally, may you bring your integrity. And I, I hope that you've grown in your integrity as your gift to the world that you have experienced or deepened here at this university. And may God's spirit bless you and be with you all along the way. And I pray that you do not forget to laugh every day. So important to keep a sense of humor, to pray every day, to dance every night, and don't forget to eat some ice cream. I send you a virtual hug, amen. At this time, I request Dr. John J. Patillo, President of the Sacred Heart University, to offer his words of welcome to class of 2020. Welcome and congratulations to all of you for the hard work that has led you to the conferral of degrees today. None of us would have expected or predicted the way we had to conclude this academic year, but I am certainly proud of all of you for the way you've adapted and you've participated in the ongoing semester. And we're really proud of you. You are truly pioneers. Today's ceremony is just the beginning though, just the beginning of a celebration for what all of you have accomplished. 
as we have said in many emails to the class of 2020, commencement will happen as soon as we're able to do it with government approval. I have been in constant conversation with your student leaders. So even today's virtual program and the upcoming commencement activities, which will be on the commencement itself, is really as of input from your student leaders. So congratulations, and we do remain committed. I'd like to continue to say that we will meet with our student leaders to hear what you and how you would like to celebrate. Again, congratulations on today's degrees. And I'd like to leave you with one thought. And it's um, a phrase that I've heard years ago, and it says, you're not able to predict or choose the frame of your own destiny, but you are able to choose what you put into that frame. Through your journey here, reflection has been very key to where you are and who you are today. I would encourage you that the frame of your destiny is handed to you, but the picture that you put in there is up to you. Congratulations again, pioneers, and look forward to seeing you for our on-ground commencement. Thank you. We now begin the virtual distribution of degrees to Sacred Heart University's graduate students. At this time, I call upon Dr. Martha Crawford, Dean of the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, who will present the candidates for the doctoral degrees from the college. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, I present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Business Administration and respectfully recommend that you confer such degrees upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Connecticut and by the Board of Trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates of the Jack Welsh College of Business and Technology the degree of Doctor of Business Administration. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Maura Iverson, Dean of the College of Health Professions, to present the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health Professions, I present the candidates for the Doctor of Physical Therapy degree and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By the authority vested in me by the State of Connecticut and the Board of Trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates of the College of Health Professions the Doctor of Physical Therapy. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Maria Lisdonius, Dean of Davis and Hanley College of Nursing, who will present the candidates for the Doctor of Nursing Practice. Dr. Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Davis and Henley College of Nursing, I present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Connecticut and by the Board of Trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the Davis and Henley College of Nursing, the degree of Doctor of Nursing Practice. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Michael Fano, Dean of Isabel Farrington College of Education, who will present the candidates for the Certificate of Advanced Studies in Administration, Certificate of Advanced Studies in Literacy, and Certificate of Advanced Studies in Teaching. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Isabel Farrington College of Education, I present the candidates for the aforementioned degrees and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the State of Connecticut and by the Board of Trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the Isabel Farrington College of Education, the degrees of Certificate of Advanced Studies Administration, Certificate of Advanced Studies Literacy Certificate of Advanced Studies Teaching. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Robin Cotton, Dean of College of Arts and Sciences, who will present candidates for the master's degrees from the college. 
President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences, I present the candidates for the aforementioned degrees and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut and by the trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences the degrees of Master of Science Chemistry, Masters of Arts Broadcast Journalism and Media Production, Master of Arts in Communication, Master of Arts Film and Television Production, Master of Fine Arts Film and Television Production, Master of Arts Media Literacy and Digital Culture, Masters of Arts Sports Communication and Media, Master of Arts Strategic Communication and Public Relations, Masters of Arts in Criminal Justice, Masters of Science in Applied Psychology, Masters of Science Industrial Organization Psychology, Masters of Public Administration, and Master of Social Work. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Martha Crawford, Dean of Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, who will present the candidates for the master's degree from the college. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, I present the candidates for the aforementioned degrees. I respectfully recommend that you confer such degrees upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut and the trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the Jack Welch College of Business and Technology the degrees of Masters of Science Accounting, Masters of Business Administration, Masters of Science Business Analytics, Masters of Science Computer Science and Information Technology, Master of Cybersecurity, Master of Science Digital Marketing, Masters of Science Finance and Investment Management, and Masters of Science, Human Resource Management. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Michael Alfano, Dean of Isabel Farrington College of Education, who will present the candidates for the master's degree from the college. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Isabel Farrington College of Education, I present the candidates for the aforementioned degrees and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut and the trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the Isabel Farrington College of Education the degrees of Masters of Arts in Teaching and the Masters of Education. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Maura Iverson, Dean of College of Health Professions, to present the candidates for the master's degree from the college. President Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the College of Health Professions, I present the candidates for the aforementioned degrees and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut and the trustees of Sacred Heart University, I confer upon the candidates from the College of Health Professions the degrees of Masters of Science Athletic Training, Master of Science, Exercise Science and Nutrition, Masters of Science, Healthcare Informatics, Masters of Science, Occupational Therapy, Masters of Science, Physician Assistant Studies, Master of Public Health, and Masters of Speech Language Pathology. Congratulations. I now call upon Dr. Maria Lisdonius, Dean of Davis and Handley College of Nursing who will present the candidates for the master's degree from the college. Dr. Patillo, on behalf of the faculty of the Davis and Henley College of Nursing, I present the candidates for the degree Master of Science in Nursing and respectfully recommend that such degrees be conferred upon them. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the state of Connecticut, and by the trustees of Sacred Heart University, 
I confer upon the candidates from the Davis and Henley College of Nursing the degrees of Master of Science in Nursing. Congratulations. And now I'd like to introduce Ashton Ogle, who is a graduate of the Master's in Physician Studies. She will speak to us on behalf of the class of 2020. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. My name is Ashton Ogle and I am in the Master of Physician Assistant Studies program. This year's graduation season may feel different to you. It certainly does to me. It's probably not what you had in mind for this day and in many ways it kind of feels less than special. But in times like these, I remind myself that we're here today receiving our degrees as pioneers. And just as the word suggests, we're in a unique circumstance that we're creatively forging through. And even though the situation is not ideal, we're making the most of it by celebrating with our virtual conferral of degrees. As I speak to you today, I'm reminded of the various paths that we've taken to be here. We came from different states, different countries, different backgrounds, yet today we're united in the fact that we're all graduates of Sacred Heart University. And though we've taken different routes, we're here today to be celebrated. At this point in our education, we've pioneered our way through many experiences. We've worked our way through our undergraduate degree and decided to further our education in our master and doctoral level programs. Along the way, we've sacrificed sleep, social outings, and time with our families and friends. We've discovered what it takes to learn at a high level, and we endured countless exams and assignments. And for that, you should feel proud. But we didn't do any of it alone. There's an old African philosophy of Ubuntu, which essentially means I am because you are. I am here today, much like you, because of the, the support that I've received along the way. To the family, the friends, the spouses, classmates, professors, faculty, and staff, we thank you for cheering us on, for encouraging us when we had self-doubt, for extending grace when we didn't quite hit the mark, for offering forgiveness in our moments of stress and when we really didn't quite mean what we said. Thank you for your presence along our journey and our moments with little sleep and questionable sanity. And we thank you for celebrating alongside us today. As we leave SHU and we go our separate ways and continue to create a life for ourselves, I urge you, take what you've learned, hold tight to the relationships that you've built and go out and pave your way. Commit to the quest of lifelong learning. Lean into the discomfort. Don't settle for mediocrity. Excel, overachieve, expect more. And then when you get where you've dreamed, be proud of yourself, reflect, help someone else, then set your sights on something new. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. This now concludes Sacred Heart University's virtual graduate conferral ceremony of 2020. Congratulations to all of our students on your accomplishments. You and your families and faculty members deserve a hearty round of applause. Congratulations.